Hi, my name is Saddam Qasim and once again I am back with one of my new video where I will teach you how exactly you can implement login sign up functionality in your e-commerce website. And if you are using a WooCommerce website then this video is for you. So without wasting much time, first of all let me take you to my laptop screen. I can show you what exactly we are going to implement today so that you can take a decision whether this video is going to be helpful or not. So this is one of my client website where I have implemented this login sign up functionality. So let's click on this login sign up link. This pop up comes up where we can enter our username and the password. It do have the Facebook login as well. So I will also guide you how exactly we can implement the Facebook login into your WooCommerce website. Along with that there is also a sign up tab. So from here user can directly create an account onto your e-commerce website. So let's try to log in into one of my existing account. I'm just entering my email address over here and we can enter the password. Now login successful message is over here and here you can see it automatically displays my first name as well as my profile picture from my Gmail account. Along with that my account and logout menu is also displaying over here. Also you can see over here that login sign up link has been replaced with this hello and then for my first name. Now let's click on logout and we can try to log in with my Facebook account. So let's click on Facebook. Here we go. We can see please wait signing in and now it automatically fetched my testing Facebook account first name and there is no profile picture on the Facebook account that's why it is not showing the profile picture. So this type of login logout pop up we are going to implement in this entire e-commerce website and I will teach you everything from basics. So if you don't know anything about how exactly we can implement this kind of functionality then this video is for you. So without wasting much time let's get started. So this is a dummy WooCommerce website where I will be putting that login sign up link over here. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard and under the plugins you need to click on add new. Now here we can search for a free plugin that is login forward slash sign up then space pop up. So the first plugin is login sign up pop up inline plus WooCommerce by Zootix. It have more than 10,000 active installations and more than 90 positive reviews. So let's install and activate this plugin. Alright now let's scroll down on the left hand side we can see this login sign up pop up just click on it and these all are the settings. So right now under the general tab enable registration auto login user on sign up and handle reset password all these options are enabled by default so just leave them as it is user role customer so of course when you are running an e-commerce website and when someone sign up onto your website and of course they will be a customer so make sure user role should be customer over here leave all these three boxes empty and success endpoint is enabled. That means when someone login successfully or create an account on your website successfully then this clause or this variable will be added into the URL of the website. Replace my account form. So these all are some kind of default options which are automatically enabled so you just need to leave them as it is. We just need to jump on to the info tab. Here is the info tab. Now this is the short code that you need to copy from here. And wherever you will paste this short code, the link will be displayed over there. So let me go back to my custom header area under the templates because from here I have created my custom header for this website. Alright, now here I will add a new column. And we can drop it just before the menu card column. Now in this column, we can take a short code widget. I'm sure you are aware of this Elementor page builder. Now in this short code box, we need to paste that short code that we have already copied from the plugin. Let's click on apply and then update. Also we can resize this column because I think it is taking too much extra space. And we can vertically align the content to middle. Now let's update. Now it's time to test this pop up onto the front page. So we can go onto the home page and I can refresh it once again. So as I have already logged in as an administrator that's why it is showing logout. So let's click on logout. Here we go. So we can see that logout menu has completely been replaced with this login text. Now let's click on login and I can try to login with one of my existing account. Here we go. So login successful and now it has logged me in with my existing Gmail account. 
Now let's make it more impressive. So we can go back to the WordPress dashboard. Now I will be creating a menu. So under the appearance, we can go on to the menus. Now here we can create a new menu. So let's click on create a new menu. Now we can give it a name just like new top menu. No need to specify the location of this menu because we'll be using it into a custom location. Let's click on create menu. All right. Now let's scroll down. On the left hand side, you can see a new tab, login sign up pop up. This tab will be visible when you will install the plugin. So let's click on this arrow. Here we have some predefined menus like this login menu will be used for login purpose. This is for sign up. Then this is for lost password in the same way log out. Then here we have hello username. So when someone will be logged in, then his username will be displayed or with the help of this menu, we can display their first name. So firstly, let's add this login and then we can add this hello first name. Add to menu. All right. So login menu is over here and hello first name. Now let's click on save menu and I'm just opening the theme builder into a new tab. Okay. Now let's edit my custom header. Okay. Now here I'm just removing the short code and we can add a navigation menu. So here is the navigation menu widget. Now from drop down, I can select new top menu. Now let's click on update. Now we can try to open this website into a new browser or in incognito window. So here is the incognito window and now we can open fooddrink.in. Okay. So here you can see only login menu is showing, but the hello first name is not showing over here. This is the good functionality of this plugin that when a user will logged in, then only the user first name will be displayed. So let's log in again. Here we go. So now my first name has been displayed along with my profile photo. Now let's go ahead and we can add my account menu and few more options over here like logout menu. So we can go back to our website. Now let's go back to the menus and here we can add my account menu just below this hello first name. So from this pages section, click on view all. And here you can find the my account page. Let's add it and we can make it as the sub menu of this hello first name. In the same way, we can add logout as the sub menu of this hello first name. So from here under login sign up pop up here, we have this logout for logged in users. Let's click on add to menu and then make it as the sub menu. At last click on save menu. Now let's refresh our front page. Okay, now let's hover on it and here you can see my account and logout. So it will only be displayed when the hello first name menu will be enabled and that will only be enabled when login will be successful. So this is how you can implement the login or sign up pop up into your WooCommerce website. Now in the second step, we are going to integrate the Facebook login onto this pop up. So a user can directly log in with their Facebook account. So let's go back to our website now. To enable the Facebook login, we need to buy the Facebook add-on. So you can simply visit on a website that is wpscratch.com. And from here in the search box, you need to type Facebook login. So the first plugin is Facebook login on pop-up. Just click on it. And this plugin costs just $7 that will help you to enable the Facebook login on your website. So simply click on add to cart. Download this product into dot zip format. I have already bought this plugin. So let's go back to our website and from here under the plugins, we need to click on add new. Now click on upload plugin, go to choose file and locate that zip file. So this is the plugin that we need to upload. Let's open it and then install and activate this plugin. Okay. Now let's scroll down. When we hover on login sign up, here we can see a new sub menu that is social login. Let's click on it. Here we go. So now this plugin offers you to integrate Facebook as well as Google or Gmail account. I'm just enabling the Facebook login. So make sure it is enabled. And in this app ID box, we need to provide the Facebook app ID. So keep this page open. Now let's go on to a new URL that is developers.facebook.com. Okay. So here we need to create a Facebook login app for our website, which is absolutely free. So let's click on login. Now you need to log in with any of your existing Facebook account. So once you're logged in, you will be seeing this kind of button or menu that is get started. Just click on it. Now, firstly, you need to register yourself as a developer. 
so we have already registered by logging into our facebook account that is the first point has been completed now second one is contact info so here will be your email account or email address automatically filled now let's click on this checkbox and then click on confirm email now here you need to specify your role so i'm just selecting developer you can select anything over here and then click on complete registration here we go now we need to click on create app now from this pop-up screen you need to select this one build connected experiences connect consumer products like facebook login to your app to create convenient and secure experiences just select this one and then click on continue now on this screen you can provide your app name just like this could be any name you can put a space that's completely up to you and here you need to enter your contact email address so my facebook email address is automatically filled and this one is optional just leave it as it is now click on create app so this is a security check let's click on i'm not a robo okay here we need to select this tractors and then verify at last submit okay so this is the screen from where we can create our facebook login app now here you can find this option facebook login just click on setup now from here you need to select web because we are going to enable the facebook login for our website in this box you need to provide your website address just like and then click on save then hit continue leave all these options as it is hit next then again hit next then next okay so these steps have been completed now next step is go on to this settings on the left hand side and then click on basic now on this page you need to provide a few details about your website the app that you're going to create so in the display name food drink is auto filled in the namespace you can give a short name about your website just like make sure there's no space and it should be at least seven to eight characters long in the app domain you can provide your website domain name so firstly i'm entering http colon slash slash and then select it from the drop down and then after i'm entering my domain name without the http protocol and then again select here you need to enter your contact email address so my facebook email address is auto filled now here we need to provide the privacy policy of our e-commerce website so I need to check if I have the privacy policy. Make sure these pages are ready. So this is the privacy policy. I'm just copying the link from here. Going back on to the Facebook. And then I can paste the privacy policy page link over here. And in this box, I need to provide the terms of service URL. So again, going back. So this is the terms and conditions. Now let's scroll down. Leave this user data deletion box empty. It is not mandatory. Here we need to set the app icon. It should be of 1024 pixel wide and 1024 pixel height. So let's click on it and we can upload an icon from our desktop. So this is the image that we are going to use. Make sure the background of this image should be transparent. It should not be in JPG format. So it's uploading right now. Okay, so this is the image that we are going to use for the Facebook login. From here, you need to select yourself or your own business. Okay, now let's scroll down. This is the verification. So just leave all these options as it is. Scroll down. Make sure in this website section, your website URL has been filled in. Now let's click on save changes. Now at the very top, we can see this app ID. So this is the app ID that we need to copy from here and paste it into this plugin area. But right now, this app is in development mode. So make sure to enable it. So this app will be published. Now we can see the message on this box. Before switching to live mode, you must provide both a valid privacy policy URL and data deletion information. That means we also have to provide the data deletion URL in this box. So I'm just providing my about us page link over here, but you can provide your own data deletion page URL. You must need to create a page onto your website, put some kind of information that how you will be dealing with the customer data when they buy products and they fill up the a billing form onto your website when they provide their name email address phone number so how exactly you will be dealing with their data so you must need to provide that link in this box i'm just putting the about us page link over here so that i can show you how exactly the app works now let's enable it and then update 
I think we have some unsaved changes. Yes. Uh, when I have provided this data deletion URL, I haven't saved this page. So firstly, we need to save it. Now let's enable this app. And then click on switch mode or you can make it live. So now we can see the app is in live mode. Now let's copy this app ID. So it's copied. We can go back to the plugin section and here we have to paste that app ID. Okay. Now let's scroll down. Just disable this Google or Gmail login and then click on save. The last step is go back to your Facebook app again. Now here under this Facebook login, you need to click on settings. Leave all these options as it is. Now here valid auth redirect URIs. So here you have to paste this URL and you can replace this domain name with your own domain. Now click on save changes. That's all we have to do. Now let's go ahead and we can check it onto our website. So I'm just logging out again. Okay, now let's click on login. So here we can see Facebook login. Now let's click on this button. Here we go. So it is asking my Facebook login and the password. So I'm just trying to log in with my existing Facebook account. Cool. So you can see, please wait signing you up. So I have successfully logged in through my Facebook account as well. And here we have the logout menu as well. So this is how you can implement the Facebook login into your WooCommerce website. You can create the login logout menu as well. And it's super easy and it is really very mandatory if you are running an e-commerce store. If this video was helpful, please do not forget to subscribe my channel, leave your positive comment. And if you think I deserve, then please like this video. Thank you very much.